So it's finally here, the ability to add conditional formatting to a table or the matrix using the value of the text that's in the actual cell. Hi, this is Jason from Effective Dashboards, helping maintenance and reliability professionals get the most out of Power BI. So welcome back to another video. So prior to this update of Power BI Desktop in February 2023, it was not possible to add conditional formatting to a cell based on the value that's actually in that cell if it was a text value. Okay, so if, it was a te if the data type was text. However, and it shouldn't really be big news this because it's something that we've been waiting for, for for quite a long time. Now you could do this using DAX, but for somebody that's new to Power BI and just wants to go and add conditional formatting to, for example, this cell here or this item here, if it's safety or if it's environment or if it's production, just to highlight the fact that it's a different um, work criticality type, then it used to be quite a chew. You had to convert it into a number and then you had to format the condition based on that number. So it just took a little bit of extra time. But now, just like in Excel, if we want to highlight this, we go into the work criticality field, go to conditional formatting, go to background, and we can see here this option is now available. So like I say, it's not big news, but I thought I'd draw attention to it because it slipped in in the 2023 update in February. And if you kind of given up hope that this is something that's going to be added to Power BI, then it's there now. So you can actually go and start to use it. So if we go in here and I want to type in environment. Now it is case sensitive. So I just want to make sure that it is exactly the same spelling and the starts with a capital letter there. And I want to go and change it to a different color here. We'll make it green. Let's go for the green here. We're not going to spend too much time thinking about that. And we can see that it's now conditionally formatted. So really easy, really straightforward. And you can also do it with the, the font as well, of course. So there's loads of different options when it comes to actually deciding which text it is or which value, which text value it is that's going to drive the conditional formatting. So if I go into status, for example, And we can see here, it's default to is, but we can use contain, start with, does not contain, is empty, is blank, etc, etc. So let's start with, um, let's use this one, it starts with, no, anything that starts with a W. And I'm going to make that a slightly different colour here. Just let's check out that colour there. Okay, so we can see these are ones here that need to be moved on. They're waiting for something. They're waiting for planning, waiting for scheduling, etc. So a really straightforward addition, but really, really something we've been waiting for for a while, particularly if you're an end user of Power BI Desktop and um, are not too confident using DAX. This is going to help you out a lot. So hopefully you found this useful. Hopefully just draw your awareness to this that it's now available and you can start to use it. So if you found this really short video helpful, it's always much appreciated and helps me out a lot if you could press the, the like button. And if you want to keep up to date with the latest videos, then hit the subscribe button and you'll get a notification whenever I release a new video. Thanks again for watching and I'll talk to you in the next video.